So today I'm going to share all of the things that I got since my last clothing haul. A lot of it still has tags on, so don't mind the tags. I haven't had a chance to wear everything yet. I'm not going to do a try on haul for this one because I went outside yesterday and I was in the sun for a little bit too long, so I'm a little bit red. I don't know if you guys can tell. My skin tone is kind of like a tan with a red undertone, but my legs are worse than my upper half, so I don't really feel like having my lobster self on camera but I promise that the next haul I do will be a try on haul. So with that, let's get started. So I'm gonna try and go oldest to newest and as always, I'm going to leave all of the product names, codes, links, whatever I can find for you guys down in the description. So hopefully you'll be able to find something if you like it. I think the last clothing haul that I did was done right before I went on vacation to Vegas, Zion Canyon and Bryce Canyon. If you wanna watch my vacation vlog, I will put that down here somewhere so you can click on it and see it if you want to see my vacation but anyways in preparation hot Miami styles reached out to me and these products were gifted but I did pick everything that you see so I just wanted to share what I got from them so the first thing that I really 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 love is actually a two-piece set but I ended up only wearing the top when I was in Vegas it's kind of this spandex material which I wasn't expecting I was expecting it to be just normal cotton but I actually really like the spandex material because it's thick number one and number two it's super stretchy I didn't have to wear a bra with this and actually this fits so well that if I did wear a bra it would probably look chunky or weird so I am super in love with this top so to continue on with my obsession with collared clothes I also picked up a long sleeve blush bodysuit from them and I'm obsessed with the blush color I'm sure I talked about it in my last clothing haul when I was talking about that blush tank that I got but anyway so a lot of the things that I got are pink or blush and they are perfect for blush clothes or pink clothes so I had to pick up this bodysuit from them I really like this bomber that I got from them I haven't had a chance to wear it yet because I feel like it's kind of outside of my style range. So even though I like it, I found it kind of hard for me personally to style. So if this fits in your style, I think it would be perfect. But for me, I'm having a little bit of trouble. So even though I really like it, I haven't figured out quite how I want to style it yet. So hopefully I will be able to put up some inspiration on my Instagram for how I style this sometime soon. The last thing from Hot Miami Styles is this beautiful boho lacy skirt. Actually, it's a skirt because underneath are these nude shorts and I really, really, really love this skirt. I think it is so dreamy and it's about perfect length for me that if I wore some wedges or heels underneath it, I can get the edge just a little bit off the ground. So when I was going to Vegas, I wanted to get a new swimsuit and so I picked up a new swimsuit from H&M. This cute little lacy kind of triangle bikini top. I think the top was only $4.99 and I think the matching bottom was only $4.99 too. Maybe the top was more expensive, I don't remember. But it was super cheap and I really like it and I actually went to a water park last weekend and I got so many compliments on it. I think the pink is sold out online right now but they do have black which I also think is really cute. Maybe I'll buy it in black too. But anyways, I really like this because it was really cheap and I've worn it a couple times since I've gotten it in the past couple of months and it hasn't fallen apart and it hasn't gotten weird like sometimes the inside pads um, will curl up when you uh, put it in the wash but it's worked really well so far for me so I would definitely suggest picking up a really cheap bikini from H&M the next couple of things I picked up from forever 21 and I bought these in the last uh, two weeks I believe so the first thing you saw me wearing in my video last week, and that's just this button up crop top. I really like this crop top because I am obsessed with crop tops, obviously, but this one's really casual and it's not striped. I have so many striped clothes, so I'm trying to stay away from stripes for a little while. So I just got this basic blue color. I really like the color, it's really pretty. I don't have a lot of this like light blue color. So I thought I would pick it up and because I was obsessed with it I decided to get it in white too so I am a creature of habit and I will buy the same things over and over again but yeah so I picked up two tops and I really like them the last thing I got from forever 21 is this really cute denim-esque 
circle skirt. I really love the ones from American Apparel, but they are too expensive for me. So when I saw that this one was only $10, I had to pick it up. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but I am really excited because this is a really cute dupe of the American Apparel skirt. They also have a lightish blue color, which I thought was really cute, but I wanted to go more denim, so that's why I picked this one out. I can't believe in these past couple of months I've been able to stay away from Brandy Melville, but I have, and I only picked up one thing, and that was right before I went on vacation, and that's this denim Raquel skirt. So I had the other suede-ish brown skirt in my last clothing haul, and because I love this like tulip cut at the bottom, I really, really wanted it in the denim color too. I really love the cut and the fit of this skirt, and I just had to get it in the denim because I love the suede so much. The denim fits a lot better than the suede. The next thing I bought because I had a $15 off coupon and that is this Victoria's Secret pink bralette. I really, really love the rainbow color. I don't usually wear anything neon and so my inner senses told me to just go with white or something basic, but I already have a white and a black Free People halter bralette that looks a lot like this. So I saw the rainbow and I was like, eh, why not, let's try it. So I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but I'm really excited because it's really pretty. I like the lace and I am super happy with the fact that I only got it for $10. So I'm sure you guys seen on Instagram or Snapchat if you follow me there and I just picked up some cacti and succulents when I was on my road trip down to Utah. So in honor of that, I got a cactus hat which is so cute. It's from Shop Tokyo Blue on Instagram and I really, really love this hat. I love the little cactus and I've been really in a hat phase, like super obsessed with hats. So as the perfect transition, I bought another hat and this one is from Urban Outfitters, kind of just this light rosy pink and it fits my head really, really well. I'm not going to put it on right now because I don't want to get makeup all up on the brim. Also from Urban Outfitters and the last thing that I got are these denim Levi shorts. So usually I make my shorts. This is the only pair of Levi shorts that I've ever bought and I wanted to give Urban Outfitters Renewal a try because they were having uh, I think it was 30% off on everything. So I ended up getting these shorts for $36, which I think is a really good deal for Levi shorts because usually they will cost you around $50 on most websites. So I like these shorts. I think for $36, they're a pretty good deal. They fit me fairly well. They're a little bit on the large side. So I'm gonna see if I can put them in the wash and dry them on high heat. So hopefully they will shrink a little bit. But overall, pretty happy with these shorts. Just as a warning, when you buy Urban Renewal, you really are getting a random pair of shorts. So it's very possible that if you buy Urban Renewal, you will get a pair of shorts that you really don't like. I actually bought two of these and I bought the other one also at $36 and I really don't like the other pair so I'm not going to even show you guys because it's really bad. So that one is going straight back to Urban Outfitters but these I was happy with. So if you do decide to get a pair I would suggest maybe buying two pairs just in case there's one that you don't like. So I hope you enjoyed watching this clothing haul. I know it was kind of small, especially compared to my last one, but because I bought so much stuff in my last clothing haul, I didn't feel like I needed that much stuff to add to my summer wardrobe, but hopefully it gave you some idea of the things that you might want to buy for the upcoming summer season. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more of me, and thank you so much for watching. Yeah.